In this video we will see how to pass multiple data between screens in App Inventor. In this example, we will pass the name, age and phone number from one screen to another. First, let's create the first interface. So go to Layout and choose Table Arrangement. In the Properties window on the right, change the height and width. Then keep the column number as 2 and change the row number as 3. Next step, add three labels in the first column and then change their properties. So, the first label is for the name, the second for the age, and the last for the phone number. Now add a text box in front of each label. These text boxes will allow the user to enter their name, age, and phone number. Finally, drag a button. In the text property, put Go to Screen 2. Now let's add a second screen and create its interface. We start by changing the background color. This is just to make it easier to distinguish between the two interfaces. Next, go to Layout and drag a table arrangement. The column number remains 2 and the row number becomes 3. Add three labels in the first column for name, age, and phone number. In the second column of the table and in front of each label we will put an empty label. These empty labels will display the data transmitted from screen 1. Renaming these components makes the coding task easier. We finish this interface by adding a button which allows you to return to screen 1. We are finished with the design part. So let's go back to screen 1 and go into blocks mode. From the variables palette, drag a global variable block. This block accepts any type of value as an argument. So, we define three variables, name, age, and phone, of type string and initialize them to an empty string. Also define a dynamic list variable that does not contain any predefined elements. When the user clicks the button, the data list is emptied. Which means that every time we enter new data, the previous data is removed from the list. Then the text entered by the user in the name text box will be assigned to the name variable. Similarly, age and phone will be stored in the age and phone variables. Then, from list blocks, drag the add items to list block. This block allows you to add the name, age and telephone at the end of the data list. Finally, add the open another screen with start value block to open screen 2 and pass the data list to it. Now let's move on to screen 2 to write its code. First, declare the variables name, age, phone and data. Next, drag the initialize block. On screen 2, receive the list of data from the previous screen using the get start value block assigned to the data variable. The next step is to assign the list data to the name, age, and phone variables. So, use the select list item block which selects the element at the given index from the given list. The first item in the list is at index 1. Finally, display this data by the labels added previously in screen 2. And to return to screen 1, use the Open Another Screen Control block when the Back to Screen 1 button is pressed.